Nowadays, the banana is the most widely sold fruit in the world. However, in the 1950s, it was on the brink of extinction. Panama disease, a fungus that attacks the roots of the plant, was decimating the Gros Michel variety, which was then the most widespread. Fortunately, shortly before this disaster, growers had discovered another type of banana, Cavendish. It's a little smaller and doesn't keep as well, but it is at least immune to Panama disease. The banana industry was saved, but it didn't learn its lesson. Nowadays, 95% of bananas worldwide are from the Cavendish variety, and a new fungus known as black cigatoka has started to attack them. When it strikes a tree, up to half of the harvest is lost. It is spreading all over the world and becoming resistant to pesticides. Without a solution, the banana trade could collapse within the next few years. The problem is always the same, lack of biodiversity. The bananas all belong to a single variety. In fact, they are genetically identical clones. This makes life easier for the people who grow, harvest and sell bananas, but it does the same for the parasites. What are we risking when we reject biodiversity in agriculture?